Okay, we'll go back to our speed duel deck profile. We played for like, the dumbest speed duel banless hit card in this format. It's hey, we'll go back to Moth Turbo. Moth Turbo still exists. It turns out you can still play Moth Turbo, right? This is still a very viable deck. You know, uh, you know, your errata sucked to the, when you had to limit. You had to hit the the skill. So that's very funny, right? Because they realized, hey, look, you we couldn't. I don't know why they didn't just put Parasite to one, if anything, because of that. But they decided to semi-limit the Parasite and the skill, which is the dumbest thing, right? I guess if you want, you could side deck skill cards, but who does that, right? So hey, look, playing Moth Turbo, uh, it's like still real, uh, still very dangerous. Uh, it's just you only. I mean, to be fair, it's only three cards, and then the rest of the deck is just good cards, bad being backed up by it. Right, so uh, let's get started. So we're playing a double uh, double moth, perfectly ultimate great moth. Uh, technically, you can technically cut this down to one now because moth because a parasite is at one. But there are times where I'm like, mm, hey, I do want to summon the moth from hand, you know. So right, so, so double moth and then one parasite because this thing is semi, which is dumb. This and the skill are semi, so you can only play co maximum copy of two of it. And then so that's if so that's that's really the main deck point of this and then finally the rest of the deck is just staple cards and just good cards so triple warrior lady uh no book of moons in this deck just play three warriors warrior lady is just good card to, for threat we play one exile force as a as a spot remover exile force really good because we play a uh, one one rota to get get to any one of these cards right to tutor to one of these cards uh Triple Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon is just a 2000 beater beat stick. You play this deck pure gold second, right? So Cyber Dragon is just good. Uh, triple uh, Spirit Creeper. Spirit Creeper is just inherently still a very good hand drop for you to be playing, right, in this deck. And finally, we play uh, Triple Night Beam. Uh, we don't play cost because we're using up all of our limit threes on the Warrior Lady. Night Beam is just good by itself, right? You just hit, hey, whatever you hit, your opponent can't respond to it. So your opponent, your opponent, your opponent has to uh, play into this, right, if they're not, if they're not careful. And then finally, uh, just three Floodgate. Well, Floodgate is still a very good trap, right? You know, there's nothing else to say about Floodgate. Floodgate is still a very good trap in this in, in speed duel format for what it does, right? And yeah, so that's the main deck. Like I said, uh, you're literally just playing. These three are like your only cards you care about. And then everything else is just pure staple cards and just good cards in general, right? Like you can like, like, like everything in this deck doesn't matter outside of these three cards. Like the rest of the deck is whatever you want it to play. And so I just decided to play a bunch of very good generic staple cards, if anything, right? And then, like always, the side deck is irrelevant. I mean, not side deck. The extra deck is irrelevant. It's just Waking the Dragon targets when we don't play Waking the Dragon. So, uh, one Dragoon, one Dangerous, one Samurai, one Ojama Knight, one Ojama King, Master of Oz. Like I said, these extra cards are extremely irrelevant. We, we don't play, um, we don't play Waking the Dragon. I mean, we don't play any card that actually facil facilitates the use of an extra deck. So, we're just playing Waking the Dragon targets. For no wicked to drag. It just exists. I, I, I like to pretend I have an extra deck with all my speed duel decks, alright? So yeah, there you go. That's the deck. Uh, this deck is still very good, still very strong. If your opponent does not see it coming, um, Parasite is just still a very good skill. I don't know why this hit is extremely bad. Really bad hit, in my opinion. Should have just put this to one, I guess, if anything, before that. Hitting a skill card is the dumbest thing on Ironic, really. Especially when this skill already got an errata. Like, it shows that even after errata, how Cocoon of Ultra Cocoon of. Cocoon of Ultra Evolution is still very strong for what it does, right? All right, yeah, that's the deck profile. Like always, hey, look, hope you enjoy. Uh, comment down below uh, what other deck profiles you want to see. I got a bunch of these. I got a bunch of these. There's a lot of decks I want to feature and talk about, and I'll get to them at some point. Hey, look, if there's a, if there's a deck you like to see, uh, comment down below, and I'll try to get to it at some point. All right, yep, that's the video. Thanks for watching, like always, and uh, K, thanks, bye.